guys, we have a no cooling call. Might have a helicopter, we'll see. Okay, the customer walked out. She's definitely a helicopter. We got a blower motor that's just humming. It spins, but feels like it might be a little stiff, but I don't know. We'll check the capacitor first. Looks like it's the original capacitor. It's a GE. The 12.5 capacitor, but I don't think that's going to be the culprit. It's weak. Nine point one, but that motor is stiff. And I have a motor with me, but I think this is the one that has the welded ears on it. Okay, so we have a bad blower motor. Uh, see, it don't spin much. It, it's pretty stiff, so it's dirty. But what's weird is, man, she's a clean lady. Her house is spick and span, and she's got a clean filter. And I know she didn't just put that filter in because she's not a dirty person. But this is a rental, so this could have happened years ago. Who knows? I hope the damn coil doesn't look like that. She said it cooled great before this happened. I gotta try to find an emergency contact number for Goodman because I don't have a belly band. Okay, I just cleaned out the uh, wheel in the housing. I'll let that dry. Nice and clean. Much better than what it was. There's a chunk I took out of it. A few more chunks came out of it. Another chunk over there. Goodman has it in stock. I'm waiting to see how long it's going to take someone to meet me. Hey guys. All right. So as I stated a second ago, I'm sitting in the truck here soaking up some AC. Oh, golly, I'm dirty. That's why I keep a, a towel in the truck that my wife, she bought me a bunch of these. She washes them for me and I rotate them out, but um, sweat rag, clean up yourself. That furnace was so nasty. That's why I got that dirt and stuff all over my hands. Anyway, uh, I talked to my buddy over at Goodman, Goodman Distribution, and he's gonna meet me over there in about 20 minutes. So I'm getting ready to head that way and meet him at the Goodman store. Um, I thought I had a belly band on the truck, but I don't, cause I, I could have used a uh, a belly, an after, you know, a universal belly band, but Sometimes them things don't line up right on these Goodmans with those welded ears. And being that I do have access to a, uh, that's the freaking glue from something in that furnace. But anyway, the fact that I do have access to even weekend, you know, call out, I'd rather just get the OEM motor since they have it in stock. It's gonna, you know, y'all, I've told y'all this, I'm all about OEM motors. Um, Goodman's only about 10 minutes from here, if it's even that far. We're, we're, we're right here in the middle of Lafayette, not far from Goodman. We're actually in Scott, Louisiana, which is, it's like, this is Scott, this is Lafayette. <laughs> They're that close to each other. So, uh, Goodman is actually, if they have a Lafayette address, but they're in Scott. To me, they're in Scott. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna head over to Goodman, pick up a motor, Put it together, and then I got to rewire, put slide it back in, and then I got to rewire the board. So, uh, and yes, yeah, she should have air. It's an old system. I couldn't see the coil, uh, the heat exchanger. I couldn't really tell. I mean, I don't see any cracks, but 
I've made it. This is a rental. I've made my customer, the property owner, aware. He's not interested. He's not even interested in the price to do a change out right now. He asked me if I would check the Freon after I get the motor fixed. I told him I would, so we'll do that as well. Hey guys, so while I was waiting on the good, my guy from Goodman to tell me he's on the way, we're at Goodman now waiting and he should be pulling up. I really wanted to get a better look at that heat exchanger. So what I did is I got, the, the furnace is in a closet. So I just kind of laid on my back and scooted my way into the blower and looked up. And the bottom of the middle heat exchanger caught my eye. It looked like somebody had, it's, it's cracked. And it looks like somebody has tried to seal it with silicone. I'll post a picture. I zoomed in and uh, circled it on my phone. And then on the screen, the one to the left, I circled it. It's it's open a little bit too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the blower in so she can have air conditioning, but I'm going to condemn the furnace. I'm gonna cut the gas off. Um, I've got the board all unwired. So I, I'm not gonna hook up certain wires back to the board. I'm gonna turn the gas valve off the gas shut off valve off outside the furnace. I'm gonna take the wires off of the gas valve and like the hot surface igniter wire for the board, I'm gonna leave it off. The induced draft motor uh, wire, hot wire for the for the board, I'm gonna leave it off. And I've already made the customer aware, sent him, sent him a picture showing him where it's open. I'll post it here on the, on the screen after I get done talking and uh, that way you guys can see, so. He said, that's fine. Turn it off. Well, I don't care if he likes it or not. I'm, I have to condemn it because I'm the last one to touch it. So I'm condemning it. He said, that's fine. We would, uh, let's, he said, let's get through the summer and then we'll talk about a change out. So I just wanted to bring that up to you guys' attention. Okay, we have our new motor. I think this one, oh yeah, I know where the ground goes. Okay. OEM just makes it so nice. that 
white is going to be a neutral. So we'll go to our bank of neutrals here. We know that black is always high speed most of the time. We will go to cool with that, which is right there at the top. And then we have a blue and a red. Red's going to be low speed, so I'm going to put the blue on uh, heat. That'll be medium speed. And then I will park the low speed. Uh, on this particular Goodman board, it doesn't say park. It says M1, M2. So that's what I'm going to put there. And the other motor was a four speed. This one's only a three. Which is fine. We have no use for a four speed motor anyway. back on the board. She'll have air conditioning. And of course I didn't forget to align my blower wheel and put my set screw on the flat part of the shaft. But you can see this one. That one spins much, much more freely. The other one would would spin about that and then stop. It would like, Burr. so should be good to go. All right, we're back in new capacitor. Got the bundle of wires in my hand. I'm gonna go get a go get a zip tie, to clean this up, and fire her up. guys well she's good to go very nice lady cajun lady so we had a lot in common we both come from the same area where i'm originally from uh we will revisit this house in october according to the property owner and look at a change out i've done a couple other change outs on a couple other his other rentals so uh, i believe when he tells me that i believe him so again we'll revisit that in october Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. And um, again, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.